Uh, I'm like Kena Sus. Uh, I came from Cambodia. When I arrived in Australia, I was so grateful. I felt that I was in heaven. Like I'm floating somewhere. Oh, so, so, so excited about it. And then I got down, I couldn't speak a word. I wanted to say hello to all the people in queue, but I wouldn't know what to say. I'm Benedict Musubidea from Liberia. And I was in exile in Sierra Leone for a long time, like over 16 years. And I was resettled here by United Nations. My name is Daniel. I am 23 years old. I came from Iraq through Jordan, from Jordan to Australia. Uh, my name is Salim Jafari. I have come from Afghanistan. I am um, one of the ethnic people which called the Hazara. People like my situation, being quite young and active, uh, uh, were just kind of very in danger uh, with the Taliban. So at the end of the day, it was quite a bad time, I remember. I'm, I'm glad it's all over. <laughs> now I'm here today. And through school, uh, school has been transferred me to start because I had really bad situation overseas. I uh, lost a lot of family members. My both parents, um, my son, my sister had three kids. A lot of family members had really, really lost, even my husband. I came to see the um, counselor in start, and then I start talking to the lady uh, counselor all about my experience, what I've been through in Port Pot. The lady that started my counseling was an African lady, and she had war experience too. So it helped me to open up because she knew where I was coming from. She knew she's been through similar things. And I started talking about my journey, my loss. It was, I needed somebody to listen to my story, you know, a good, like a good friend, I suppose, to you know, help us, you know, our story being heard. It all started with the start, you know, through a sort of like canceling and then, you know, having, you know, our story written down and, you know, telling us, you know, this is the difficulty we have, and we cannot go back to Afghanistan. It was the start to introduce us, you know, the new culture of Australian culture, Australian society, Australian government, Australian way of life, you know, they make sure, you know, we know, otherwise you might be confused. They make me learn, and they put me through programs and counseling, everything. These people, they make me think and become who I am today. How good is it when you help somebody? They got nothing, you know? They get you out of hell. It, when I say hell, I really mean it hell. It was really tough out there. These people show us what's, what's going on, what's life. We didn't see life since I, the day I was born until I came here. I didn't know what's life. You know, I always see bombs and bad people and you know, scary face. But what I noticed after I done a couple of the sessions of neurofeedback, I felt more calm. I, I felt calmer, and then also I felt um, I am able to focus on tasks that I uh, wanting to do. And then my memory is also is improving. So now I, I also I have a good sleep. So start has really built play being a very, very strong foundation for me. They help me be me because the counseling helped me to be me, to be who really I am. Because when I was I came here I wasn't really myself. I, I compared it like you know it starts to myself as, as a big brother because I uh, believe me it all started here English classes and then you feel more comfortable you become get along together you become more, more sort of friendly and then you, you tell them your story this is what is my story I come from this country a war-torn country I've got this problem back home the programs that we, we were talking about which is the hip-hop dancing the camps they've done it which has really helped me. It's not just me. Maybe I can say lots of people, you know, if 
I can talk on their behalf. It helped lots of people and I can see lots of change. Especially for me, I was needed. It. You know, they came in the right time. They are the greatest. Um, I can say this word again and again, all over again, legend. Every single one of them are legend. You know, they are making people to find themselves. Because we, some of us were lost when we came here. One, the culture has shocked too, because of what we've been through, the impact it had on us. I never knew I was going to be happy again. I never knew I was going to have a very good sleep because I was not sleeping much. But with the counseling and um, that I've been through, I've been able to really have a very good sleep and be myself. They work hard to make the people around them happy. You know, they give them what they need, which is life. Good start is very caring, very understanding, welcoming the people, and then listening to people's problem, and then assisting them and directing them to the appropriate therapy that these people need. The fact I'm helping my people to be what they were before and to be able to blend in the Australian society. I meet them places, they, you, you see, I see them running to me, you know, and I see those sad people I met, you know, when I, I'm doing the program with them. I meet them and I see them so happy, you know, community, um, associating with other people. It brings joy to me because that's how we are. That's why I knew librarians to be. I always think if a start wasn't in my back, I would have been here today and become who I am today, you know, a person, responsible person, um, looking forward for a better future and, you know, I can see the light, always they show me the light and they lead me to it.